What's up everybody? Moving on to the next example. At what x value or x values do the functions f of x equals x to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 2 and f of x equals 20x cubed have the same slope of tangent. We know the slope of a tangent is represented by the derivative of a function at any x value. So if we can find the derivatives of both of these functions and then make them equal, we can solve for those x values where the derivatives will be equal. So let's take this function first. We got f of x equals x to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 2. Now to find the derivative of this, notice how it's a function within another function. This x cubed plus 2 is the inner function, x squared is the outer function. So then to find the derivative, we would apply the chain rule, or more specifically the power of a function rule. So we would bring the 2 down, the inner function stays the same, we subtract 1 from the exponent, and then we multiply it by the derivative of that inner function, which is 3x squared. Now this function here, 20x cubed, to find the derivative of it, really simple, we just apply the power rule. So we just bring that 3 down, 20 times 3 is 60, and then subtract 1 from the exponent, so we're left with 60x squared. So 60x squared is the derivative of this function, and then this whole expression here is the derivative of this function. So now what we can do is we can make both of these derivatives equal and then solve for x, and then at those x values, the slopes of the tangent will be equal for these two functions. So then doing that, making those derivatives equal, we can uh, multiply the 2 and the 3x squared here, we get 6x squared and then we would distribute that inside the bracket to end up with 6 to the x to the 5 plus 12x squared equals 60x squared. Bring the 60x squared over to the left side. So 12x squared minus 60x squared would give us negative 48x squared. And then from here, notice how we can factor out a 6x squared. So 6x squared is common in both. So when we divide this, expression by 6x squared, we just be left with x to the power of 3. And then when we divide this expression by 6x squared, negative 48x squared divided by 6x squared would just give us negative 8. And this is still all equal to 0. So then we can factor this x to the power of 3 minus 8. Notice how it's a difference of cubes. So then factoring that difference of cubes, x to the power of 3 minus 8 further, we get x minus 2, x squared plus 2, x plus 4. And then that 6x squared stays the same. And then that's still all equal to 0. Now this last bracket here, there are no x values that would make that bracket equal to 0. But these terms here, notice how an x value of 0 would make this whole expression on the left equal to 0. So that's one solution for this equation here. And then an x value of 2 would also make this left expression equal to 0. So those two x values are our final answers. So at an x value of 0 and at an x value of 2, these two functions have the same slope of tangent. So the way you do that is you take both the functions, find their derivatives, make them equal, simplify everything, bring it all over to one side, simplify the like terms, factor it as much as you can, and then from those remaining factors you get your x value. So at an x value of uh, 0 and at an x value of 2, these slopes of the tangents are the same. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.